Hey guys, just a fairly short one, just an update. I, uh, this old clever dick very efficiently uh, trashed some video clips because I took a bit of video on the lathe whilst I was doing some work on the turntable. So anyway, I'll just describe just real quick um, what I did. Uh, this is pretty much getting to the limit of the lathe and I fitted it with these um, tapped holes to the uh, faceplate. The intention was to generally true things up and uh, I've cleaned this radius up a little bit, not that it's very important. This section here was absolutely terrible for a run out and probably half of it took, I uh, forget now how many thou, probably 10 thou I think to get through and it was a sort of very hard skin, almost the same effect as you get with cast iron and I didn't want to cut in uh, too deep and it actually uh, dulled a, a tool a couple of times. So we got that machined up and uh, the boss was pretty poor. A lot of stuff is sort of almost as cast and uh, that line there is some epoxy. The, the boss originally had a, a means of engaging on a shaft pin I guess. So we machined that down to truth. The whole thing actually on setting up the best I could get was about two, two and a half thou because the, it's got a lot of wiggles in it. Anyway that's got to truth which means I, it'll set up in the three jaw fairly well plus a shoulder on there. And the outside also has been polished firstly with fine paper and then with uh, polishing compound. So having done this side this gives me two options for brush contact. This outer ring from underneath, the center boss, maybe in a delta, uh, three-way sort of delta setup. And then on the top, which I'm still considering using as a contact surface, particularly if I follow one very useful suggestion. Um, I didn't actually machine that because I didn't want to remove any material to excess and the center of course is where the chuck's going to go that's immaterial. So we've got a fairly good finish on the outside still a little bit of here and there the odd little bit of what was uh, original machining chatter uh, but that's now a pretty nice surface and if I use that surface for brushes uh, it would have to be protected. Somebody very sensibly pointed out if I did the carbon brush, carbon block approach, um, what's going to happen with uh, weld spatter as it gets on there. And it needs protection anyway. One suggestion which actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, you probably noticed when this was off, there's the uh, center pin that supports this with the ball bearing on top. Uh, that's isolated from the aluminum sheet which is really only on there to stop splatter, spatter hitting the wood. Um, so this turntable is isolated therefore the motor and everything else needn't enter into the frame and when the chuck is on the um, <clears throat> somebody suggested, I forget who it was, apologies, somebody suggested cutting a hole in a piece of sheet to allow the chuck to show through and below the chuck key access there's about probably a good three quarters so possibly if we took a sheet cut a hole out and uh, covered basically everything here including probably just getting a bit of cover for the uh, belt where it goes to the motor that would mean that this is the only thing that's grounded and perhaps we can get something along here on here for uh, brush contact otherwise underneath and any brush mounting will have to be isolated from the main base. Now one thing I found if I can remember where I put it here is a box of 
assorted brushes. These go back for ages, some of them are quite large and there are, no that's not a pair but some of them actually are duplicated. These are all very ancient automotive brushes probably going back 30-40 years I suspect and I knew I had them somewhere and even brush springs all sorts so I may see if I can make something out of that failing that wait for the uh, graphite block to come and uh, then make a decision on how to shroud everything and keep the turntable as a grounded entity on its own so just a little update there that's all plenty of work yet to do this project's nowhere near finished as I thought it might have been there's a need for improvement and uh, try and get things really well set up so if you stayed this far as I often say thanks for watching we'll see you again soon